すぐやろうな Don't tease me, bro. Don't tease me, bro. I r e v e Las Vegas. Nice. That's how you start the morning. Pay the man. Wonder if I can somehow. I bet you I can. Maybe I can share. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see. Let's add a browser source, add source, add. Do I guess is I'm gonna use this over here that way at least people <coughs> watching the stream can see what the fuck is going on in our wormhole. But I think I need to make this a little more secure. I think that's fairly decent. Okay, so anyway.
Hey, good morning, Tyler. Are you here to yell at me about showing Pathfinder? Is that a bad idea? Because they can just fly into our hole somehow with none of that information? Are you talking about this? Oh, wait. Why? Can you determine or derive any more information from... Um, okay. So keep that on that other screen. You got it. I know that you're not answering that fast, so everything's catching up. I don't have the skin I want. I want... Fantastic. And Red Me Garner's good, of course. Tyler, where do you get so glad you're on? Where do you get this skin? It's like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Look at it. I fucking need it, man. Look at it. It's so fantastic. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Come on, man. Can we get back to brass tacks here? Like, where do I get this? Galnet Streamcast unit skin. And why is someone paying like almost three billion in his court? Oh my god. It's such a dope skin. Jack! What up, son? Welcome to the stream. Tylus, do you want to do something this morning? I was thinking about flying something into the hole or, <clears throat> excuse me, doing something. Tylus, you obviously can't count zeros, and I'm not going to open it again to prove you right. This one's not bad. It's the classic, right? It's like the bling bling. I gotta fly back in the hole, so I gotta grab something. He's, you can't hear him because he's, he's not speaking to me anywhere. He's just typing and he's on Twitch. Typing. 
I, you know, I forget that you, some of you guys can't see the other people typing because of this different, you know, streaming to like three or four different platforms and stuff. But believe me, I'm not talking to myself and other people are typing. I guess I should start reading the questions so that um, people know what's going on. Absolutely not. Why? Shit. I'm gonna have to like build the ship. So that shit. Okay, what is that? A rigged caracal. All about that life. Hey. Hey. It doesn't look rusted. Hey. Hey. It really upsets me, Tylus. That you still haven't found me a way into armor hall today. And that you also can't reach us. But I'm gonna let that go. This way, sheep. 480 million. Why are Kiki Mara stands so expensive? Can I motherfucker get a biosecurity skin? You can't get a Kiki Mara skin under, under fucking 350 million? That's crazy talk. I don't even think you need both these. Why does he have both those? It's really fucking weird. It's really fucking weird. We still have I still fucking extra now.
was born by the river. Oh, I'm heading back to the wormhole, hopefully. <laughs> Good morning, son. I had to do some market shit. And, uh... We're heading back to the hole now. If the wormhole on Pathfinder is still open. Fuck. I still haven't gone to bed, so you're doing better than me. <laughs> I played Fortnite all night and shit. <laughs> nice, nice. The crazy thing about wormholes is how you can go to boring, 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 explosion. Boring, 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 explosion, boring, 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 boring. I went fishing yesterday. I, um, I think it's great you're going fishing tomorrow. I went fishing yesterday when I shut the stream down. I literally just got in the car. It was like 6.45 in the morning, and I just drove to the river and put a pole in the water. It's fantastic. Whoa. 
I don't know where you live. I don't know if we went over that. I live Northern California, like Feather River runs right through the middle of where I live. I fish a lot. Oh, wow. Big lake. I like lake fishing a lot more than river fishing. But, you know, we have kayaks, so it's, lake fishing's easier on us. That's a dream. That's a, that's a fantastic place to live. We have similar fish, also. Interesting. I think, ex with the exception of the pike, you get some pike up there, right? No pike. Just like trout. Oh, voila. Gotcha. What new casino boat? What new casino boat? Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. I loved, I caught like an eight pound trout two weeks ago. We're talking. The The white of his back was this wide across. You know what he is? Yanker. Atramar, what do you mean new casino boat? I, oh, I didn't know he did it on a casino boat. I tried to watch Ozark, and when he got to the part where, like, the wife was whoring around on him, I just couldn't stomach it, and I turned it off. Can't handle shit like that. It's horrible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, "Oh, fuck this show." I would rather watch. I would rather watch Scarface, like cut someone's head off with a chainsaw, than infidelity. It just upsets me. I've spoken. <laughs> Silas, if I fly all the way to this hole and it's not up because you're being lazy and you haven't scanned me a new way to get back into the hole, that's your morning job. I'm going to be upset with you. Look at this dude's name. Oh, that's amazing. I want to steal that name so bad. Come on. How do I get it? I actually, last night I applied for a job with the forestry service, um, doing like um, salmon migration pathing on the Feather River. Oh, it's too late. Fuck. I could have got it from there. Huh? That was a great name, right? My fucking AR. Yep.
We have to name all our ships something stupid and fucking dumb anyway. But I did like that ship name. That's actually really smart. So it's not just our wormhole that does that. Oftentimes, wormhole corps will have a, a symbol they use for their ships. I thought that was just us being clever. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Tacos. Tacos. You must have had a lot of tacos just because, like, it's what comes to mind. A chalupa here and there. <laughs> I guess it would become a, a game to try to get clever. So. Sarichi, Savichi, Savichi. These cans in a bad place. We'll put it like right here. And we're gonna try to we're gonna hide our system with this. That didn't work. We're gonna hide our system. Somehow, we're going to do this. That's much smarter. Using a theme rather than a symbol avoids infiltration. Well, it avoids easy infiltration. <coughs> and it would become kind of a game to come up with some esoteric Hispanic food no one's ever heard of or whatever. Manchapa. Fucking, what's the bowl called? Can't remember. It'll come to me.
I am going. I hope. Always hoping to pew pew, bro. But I'm flying back to the hole to see what's up in life. Like, there's no. There's no hole scan or anything going on right now. So I don't even know if I'm flying to an active hole. We're here, though. So we're going to find out now. Hopefully. I'll take fights all week. That's my thing. So it's not there. So I'm fucked. Yeah. Let me try the other one. Fuck me, man. We're going to work it out. I'm not stressed. <clears throat> if if worse comes to worse, I'll just start yelling at Athamentor Atha that I need a rescue. And he will bitch incessantly, but he will help me because he's my friend. <laughs> but hopefully the second holds up. The key with Tylus is... You have to put in an effort to help yourself. He's just not going to rescue you. You know what? I should I should probably do that, buddy. I, I'm so new to wormhole stuff. Logistics are a mystery to me, but you might be on something with just that. Just keep scanners in so I never get stuck like Chuck. And I'll always have venture miners, right? They're... So that's not bad. Yeah, it's a good idea. We're close. It's six jumps to the second hole. And then we send the SOS out. There's a low set connection. I could try first. Excuse me. Whew. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> now that look, I was going to tell you, bro, uh, this wormhole corpse we join probably has eight people. You could come over here and lend it all the knowledge and probably, you know, 
depending on what level of involvement you want, go nuts. Oh, uh, so this is weird. This is uh, Papaya Sorbet, which I think is just this club's way of being like, here, smoke this. <laughs> but I have like eight different flavors. Like I went and got it. They had a special. It was like, pick eight different eighths, right? So I got cookies and runs and um, wedding cake and um, this papaya shit. Some shit called like, I rubbed it off. It's a, it's a white label. <laughs> I think my favorite strain right now is probably wedding cake. I like like a heavy indica with like a purple hint to it. Like I like I li like lava cake. It's a wedding cake cross, right? Oh really? Once Cali went recreational, it was on, right? It's, it's fucking nice. Lava cake is smoking, bro. Really good. Another one I like is Purple Punch, which is like K cross with with uh I can't remember. It's been a while. Yeah. I love a solid fruity purpley taste. Like it doesn't have to be purple weed and all that nonsense. But I like that grape flavor, man. I just smoke it. I put Tupac on and just bang it, bro. Lately, I've just smoked a lot of wax. It just gets me to another level. It's like smoking a bowl and drinking a beer, but just taking a hit. <laughs> Bro, I call that the hippie speedball. I live that life. <laughs> That's the vibe, bro. The hippie speedball life. He said, I'm going to read it for people that aren't on Twitch. He said, I hate to be sleepy. I drink coffee. I wake up, get amped up on the coffee. Then I smoke, take the dive. And it's just this cycle he gets in. I call that shit the hippie speedball. In the cemetery. Though life is hard, we carry on. Hey, man, shout out to Tupac. Rest in peace, bro. It's a damn shame. Yeah, I prefer... So, you seen these deals? That motherfucker dirty. I don't even want to show this to you. You, got, you guys seen these? It's like a little portable... Um, Nectar collector, right? It's electric. So I take that when I go on trips. Because they're like $22. You don't even care if you lose those motherfuckers. You know what I mean? But I'm a dreamer. Have you ever seen her? Is this motherfucker going to be open? If not, maybe we'll just bomb out to low sec, pick a fight. <laughs> I, oh, the wormholes open, my ninja. 
So look, I'm gonna have to talk about rap. I might even turn my rap down to do it. I'm a music idiot. I love everything, literally everything. We're talking like, bro, from the oldest music you could think of, like Lead Belly, to the most gangster rap out right now. I love it all, right? I love everything. But there's something so very special about the way Southern slang sounds and rap. You hear me? Like the way, like it's just so good. I love Southern rap. Like dirty Southern T.I. Like not so much when you get up to the South. Like I like Paul Wall a little bit and shit. But like Southern, Southern, Southern rap. Like old Little Wayne. Let's get the fuck back to the hole. How did this even work? Tupac, man, Mozzie, some of the rappers out there, they talk about, they remind me of a struggle that you just can't express unless, you, and a lot of people can't connect to it unless you lived it, right? I didn't get all these gray hairs, nothing. So, I really, uh, death metal, it's interesting, because I like black metal, right? So, not Cookie Monster, like, Ring Wraith metal, right? <laughs> like, Norwegian black metal, I like. Uh, that's more... Like, I like all metal, because I like music. I I can find something in every different niche of metal. But, I mean, the very fact that I know the difference between black metal and death metal shows that I know metal, right? But, yeah. I like weird stuff too. Like when I say weird, I mean like Mr. Bungle is weird, right? Or fucking like indie metal, like out there shit. They hate being called indie, but they are. And if you never listen to Mr. Bungle, go listen to My Asses on Fire. That's a shout out to everyone. And if you never heard of Mr. Bungle, just go listen to My Asses on Fire. <laughs> Sign, you used to DJ. We should do a stream where we just talk about music. I could talk about music all motherfucking day. I wish you could get around copyright. I play music. I want to, but they fucking mute all my, my shows. What's your favorite death metal? Like, how, how death metal are you? Are you, like... Like, you like Root? Ninja? You like Root? I like Root. Oh, you play music. That's fantastic. I wish I could play music. I have no musical talent. I, I can't keep on beat. I can't. I'm horrible. I'm very lyrically talented. But. I'm useless when it comes to musical instrument. They're going to shut us down. We'll restart right after we get in it. And start scanning shit down. What's your favorite metal band, dude? Yeah, right? I feel that. Um, I'm going to try to remember everyone's name in this, but like... So what's the dude that does um, melodic folk black metal? The guy that killed Uranimus, right? You know who I'm talking about? What's his name? I can't remember his name. But the, the shit's just a little too weird for me, man. It's like 30 minutes of like a harp. <laughs> and and then it's, it's just, I don't know. I don't, I try to like it, but it's just too much. Melodic. 
melodic black metal. It's interesting you said, like, technical, like, I, brutal death metal is like, I don't like it. I, I like, I don't really like any death metal because of the Cookie Monster thing, but I at least appreciate technical metal for what, like, for the genius that it, like, the precision of the metal, right? And the speed, of course, but, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't do the Cookie Monster. I like the Ring Ray thing. It sounds more, it just sounds, I don't know. I think that the Cookie Monster thing is just doing the most to me. <laughs> I did, I did, I, I was a roadie for DSI and did security for them for a while. I don't know if you know who DSI even is. I'm old. And they were growlers, right? They did the Cookie Monster thing and the eye roll in the back of the head and shit at the shows. And I would, I would be standing there like pushing people off the stage, and I would be looking at him and Glenn Bennett, like, like I knew him, like I would take acid with him and we go to strip clubs and shit. But he like, he would do that eye roll thing and that, and I remember just thinking every time, like, bro, you were just doing the most. But I would not in that verbiage, right? Like it was just like an eye roll. I so it's interesting you you bring up Rod and Christ. They're one of my favorite bands right now. Like it's really strange because I'm like rocking, um, Rod and Christ. And yeah, dude, you and me are vibers. And I was just gonna say Morbid Angel, even though they're not like. I really like anti-Christian music, not for the reasons that that you would jump, not the conclusions you would normally jump to, but I I do like like the pushback against religion that comes from, like, Swedish, like, metal. And, uh, <clears throat> Morbid Angel's really not that, even though they, I don't know, they look like that. I don't know how to explain it. I like Morbid Angel. And I'm also listening to <laughs> such a different genre. A ton of Corey Taylor. Like, even his acoustic shit. Like, I'm listening to, like, Slipknot. I'm listening to Stone Sour. I'm listening to him sing fucking... Grateful Dead songs with an acoustic guitar. <laughs> I'm just a huge Corey Taylor fanboy right now. I don't know why. I go through phases. But I do like Morbid Angel. I do like Rod and Christ. And then I'm trying to remember the name of that. Oh, what the fuck is it? Let me open my music. Hold on. Dude, when you have this much. Like I said, guys, we'll be right back when the server starts up. Do you like Root, dude? If you've never listened to Root, I would suggest the track My Master. And, uh, I actually don't think it's called My Master. Let me see. I get this stoned, and it's like ridiculous. It's on Hell Symphony. I just don't remember the name of the song. Mm. I can't question your decisions, you know? 
we all have reasons. Like I said, I'm fucking weird and don't do certain things. You know what? Do I have it? Sufi's back up. Yeah. That's the problem with like old metal, right? I'm working on it though. I have a plan. Don't worry. I'm not ignoring you. Uh, yeah. All right, bro. Hopefully you're still there. I'm going to play this for you, even though I'm not supposed to. Because I'm gonna... you know, We're going to play ridiculous. We're going to play black motherfucking metal.
Gariadza das Perifalil Kahisa Mikaola Zadona Salire Kalsago at Fifisa Balsoti Zotara Saniada Nanuka Gohulime Mikama do Yanumana Faoda Meliore Messo Maono I do that with I do that with punk rock songs, right? Like I'll get like um I have you seen those albums? They're amazing. Uh like uh um Grunge goes punk or like Metal Goes Punk or whatever. They'll take like all those fucking badass songs from like the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Nirvana and Pearl Jam in the eighties, late ninety or early nineties, and they'll redo them in punk style. You know? Like, I have a lot of those type of... I like punk rock a lot, right? Wait, let's get down to brass tacks here, bro. But do you like Elvis? <laughs> Cause if, if you don't like Elvis, I don't know if we can be friends. <laughs> Yeah, I'll fucking look it up. It's a great title. I was fucking finger banging the bitches is raining fucking raining blood, right? Like that shit came out when I was like a freshman in high school. Suspicious minds, right? Uh like Dude, I don't like Elvis, but I like six or seven songs, and that's one. That's probably number one. Same with, like, Frank Sinatra. Like, am I a fanboy? No, but I do love, like, six or seven songs. Let's get on this wormhole life. Let's see if we can get something done. Let's see. I like this song. You know who had underrated bass lines, bro? Janet Jackson. Like, you go listen to some of Janet Jackson's hits? Jesus. Fucking dumpers, man. Dumpers. And the Beastie Boys, of course. I read this fucking article that said... The Beastie Boys, the reason they were able to have all those unique sounds back then, I mean, fucking License Ill came out when I was like fucking seven, dude, is because um, their parents were all high up executives in MGM Studios, and so they were using like, they had access to samples and reels and reels of samples that nobody else had access to back then, and that's how they were able to do those bass lines and like uh, Paul Revere and shit. I mean, you still hardly see anything equivalent to that now. Wait. I need to ignore one of these. Really?
I'm caught in a trap. <laughs> I can't hold back. I think I listened to that song yesterday. No shit. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, dude. Sorry, guys, I'm dealing with a Discord conversation. I'll continue to scan. Fucking back, it's killing me.
talking, I forget to bookmark the wormhole. Pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. Okay, so it looks like <laughs> it's funny you say that about Pathfinder because um, I'm just I'm just talking with Goonswarm about rejoining Goonswarm and going back to Delve to fight test to have more content for the stream and. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to stream any of the fights, though, it's, it's looking like. But I know why you don't want to use Pathfinder. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but it's just so... There's so... It's probably my own anxiety. Like, you're rad, and there's, like... There's honestly five to ten people that watch me play Eve. But I don't even know how, man. It's so boring in here. Where at least in Delve... Um, I could be fucking slapping into ships, you know? Which I like to do. There's still no new holes. to evacuate. Wow, what a drastic turn. Fraternity? The thing is, um, are fraternities still blue to us? Sign? Is fraternity still blue to goons? Tylus is... Fraternity still blue to goons? Excuse me. Why did this even open? I really don't want to play this. Oh, no one's blue. Why are you screaming? You just screamed at me. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, you're awesome. Oh, my fucking man. No one's blue.
Oh, I'll fix everything. Thank you for helping me with my sound quality. Tylus, coming through once again like a monster. Also, Tylus, if I do this, I think the easiest way for me to do this is just give you all my stuff out of the wormhole and we'll sort it out later. You good with that? Because I still want you to keep Orchid Bay in the wormhole. <laughs> And then I don't think I have very much in here, so like, you just come up on like two bill. That I would expect in liquid cash when I landed in Delphi. <laughs> oh my god, man. like I don't have much here <laughs> yeah, we're in four. We're in four. Damn, low classers? That's a very, 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 very condescending term, and I like it a lot. Like, if I lived in a C5 or a C6, I would definitely call everyone low class. Because it's just perfect. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Tyler, you're not going to haul all my stuff? Are you being serious? You're joking, right? But I didn't really want you to haul it. I was just going to give it to you so it didn't stay in here forever. You don't want to just have my stuff? It's like 2 billion isk. You don't want it? You don't like isk? Yeah, I was just going to give it to you. Yeah, I will if I get to keep it. You'll take your present if you get to keep your present? <laughs> it's like 1.6 bill in ships and mods and gas and shit. So I was just going to give give it to you so you could keep Orca functional in the wormhole. And then I was going to um, fly to Goon's base and plex out like 250. I have a freighter and I have 
you're like a whole nother level of crazy than me, right? Like, I like to drop dreads and be nuts once in a while, but you're like a whole nother level of, like, you and Tyler should fucking hang out. You guys could take over Eve, dude. You guys are evil Lex Luthor logistics geniuses. What's the fucking public channel? It's like... No one's in there? Literally no one is in Psyot recruitment channel. Tylus, aren't you a recruiter? Uh These motherfuckers, there's nobody in that channel either. <laughs> Closed.
This is like a lot of work. Alright, I'm going to bed, guys. I appreciate the views, but it's 5 in the morning. Your boy is tired. 